Thanks for coming back to the channel. This is Twist Leaf Rod Shop. Uh, usually we're working on this guy right here, <clears throat> what I call the Jeep Rod. Is a uh, small block Chevy powered four length uh, cantilever air ride Jeep rat rod. Um, but uh, but for now, in this video, <clears throat> I did a little garage cleanup. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that uh, this, this shelf right here was just jam packed full of stuff, and you can see I've been cleaning a bunch of it out. It's still not 100% clean, but uh, most of it's gone. So, did a little bit of organizing threw some stuff away, moved some stuff around, so on and so forth. So now what I plan on doing is I'm going to cut these shelves down uh, to the same height as the toolbox and then I'm going to run them down that way. So it'll just be all the way down and then I'll get uh, I'll get a couple pieces of MDF and I'm going to make, make some countertops for it. And so basically what it'll be is just countertop or you know cabinets and countertops all the way down toolbox in the middle somewhere and then I uh, I want to do some upper cabinets up here all the way down and then have my pegboard in between the two sets of cabinets so upper cabinets lower cabinets pegboard with just whatever whatever I need for pegboard on there which I, I don't really keep much of my pegboard anymore um, obviously I've got my uh, my hose reel or my hose reel my air hose and my extension cord excuse me extension cords on there I don't use that radio anymore because I got this one now and then over here I've got pegboard which all my squares and T's and whatnot will definitely stay on the pegboard because I like having those quick and easy to get to um, but it'll be on the other side um, level stuff like that <clears throat> you can see I have had a bunch of hooks on there because I used to have a bunch of stuff on there but not really much anymore uh, and uh, moved all my chemicals over here all my different things they were over here um, down on these two shelves, but uh, I had my daughter out here a lot, and man, she was just always trying to get into them, and I did not like that, so I moved them. Um, cleaned up over here a little bit too. Moved the engine hoist to see. I got these cabinets. Some guy was getting rid of them side of the road. They're kind of beat up on the inside. You can see that one's missing some stuff, but I really don't care. They're going to the garage. So, and then <clears throat> Facebook friend Cameron um, said that he's getting rid of some uh, some cabinets also, so I'm probably going to get those from him. Um, it's kind of a mess over here. Some of the wife's stuff, but you see, I moved the engine hoist. Um, got my squirrel cage fan over here, and a couple other things. So, uh, what I plan on doing, like I said, I'm going to run cabinets, uppers and lowers, down this whole wall, pegboard in the middle. Um, can't do anything in front of that, so it's just going to stay where it's at. And uh, basically, I have a bunch of uh, workspace, which would be cool. And then on this side, <clears throat> I've got this shelf over here with all my chemicals on it. I'm probably going to take all those chemicals off and that's going to be all for car parts um, for like the Jeep or whatever else I'm building at the time. And then um, depending on how many cabinets I get from Cameron I'll probably run upper cabinets all through here. And I've also got some shelf brackets. Just some basic nothing special shelf brackets. Um, so I might do a section of shelves possibly in the middle area somewhere. Um, or maybe just do one section here and then cabinets because uh, I got to be weary of the garage door So maybe shelves and then cabinets from here over it Depends on how many cabinets I get from Cameron um, But that way I can have you know parts parts and then all of the the wife stuff will go in the cabinets on this side Because all the pegboard and everything will be gone. So um, Over here I've got this is still kind of a mess all my yard tools uh, me and the, me and the wife are talking about buying a shed so um, if I do buy a shed, all that stuff will be gone. The air compressor, um, I've got a plug for it right here. The, these two are both the same plug. Uh, welder and uh, plasma cutter run off of this one. And then the air compressor runs here and stays plugged in mostly all the time. Um, but I've got, I don't have anything in the wall yet. I've got a line dropped um, in the ceiling down right about here somewhere so that I can put the compressor in this corner but I've got underneath here is a table saw and a miter saw I've got to get rid of those and then once I do that I'll put the compressor over here get it all wired in then I've got some uh, uh, you probably can't see it back there a couple pieces of uh, black pipe and a bunch of fittings and stuff and what I'll do is I will run you know black pipe probably up and over here somewhere and then have a hose reel probably mounted right here or maybe on the side pointing this way a little bit so that I can hose reel out and uh, get to everything 
Uh, for right now, I've got my battery charger right here. Once I get my uh, cabinets and countertops all set up, I've got two of those battery chargers. I'll probably hook them into that switch right there so that when I flip the switch, the battery chargers come on, the radio will come on, and then the un under cabinet lights will come on. Um, so I can have everything set up there. And let's see, where did they go? I've got these fluorescent lights here. They're really old. Um, I bought them. We had a rent house that we lived in. And uh, I bought them for that. And they work good. Uh, that one on front, in the front there is missing the lights, obviously. But uh, they work good. Uh, I just don't use them anymore because I got all these guys. So I will most likely put those as my under cabinet lights. So, And then this here, um, this is what I've been working on today, really, uh, aside from cleaning up all that stuff. This is what I, my mobile mobile fabrication station. You know, you guys have been seeing me use my... Uh, my fender stands there and uh, good old trusty piece of plywood that's got a bunch of cutouts in it. Um, I've had this for a while actually. Uh, I used to use it when I did paint. Um, I had my, all my paint stuff set up, paint guns and everything, but uh, I don't really do paint much anymore. So I set it up for fabrication, so we're going to go over that. Um, just a US General uh, single drawer tool cart, two shelves on the bottom. So we'll start with the top up here. Um, obviously this will be my work surface. I need to clean it up. It's got all kinds of stuff on it from when I did paint. But we'll clean it up. Uh, not necessarily flat at all, but it's just somewhere to work. Um, that's a countertop. So, um, And here, what I'm calling is my specialty tools. So got my uh, bed liner gun, uh, brake line flare kit, my 6.5 inch hole saw kit for wood that I'll probably never use again, but I bought it because I need it once. Um, first aid kit, a um, couple different things here, this is some kind of specialty, uh, it's a specialty force gauge, which I'll probably never use, but don't really want to get rid of it either, a um, couple drill bit sets, my Craig tool set for woodworking, stuff like that, got a couple of uh, planes, my angle finder, um, bolt pattern gauge, this here is a puller set, and then we got my uh, tubing notcher so pretty pretty standard stuff this this area here since it's under the lid is supposed to be you know I don't use it all the time I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have something on top of here and then think oh crap I need it and then have to move everything off of it open this back up to get to it close it back up and then start again this you know the stuff that's in here I should know that I need it before I start the job that I'm doing so um, that's what that's for leave that open the drawer here um, I've got this side over is basically drill bits, hole saw kit, really cheap drill bits, eh, it's still cheap, not as cheap drill bits, and then really good drill bits, and then my, uh, my step bit there, and then over here I have all my abrasives for a uh, four and a half inch grinder, um, three inch angle grinder, two inch angle grinder, stuff like that, my extra handle for the grinders, um, tools are down there too for the grinders, so I've got uh, grinding wheels, Cutting discs, uh, wire wheels, stuff like that. I'll figure out something to organize this better. Maybe I'll do a five minute fab on that. I don't know yet. <clears throat> Down here, uh, I've got all my sanding stuff. You can see there, I've got some tape, a bunch of sandpaper, need to organize that, all my sanding blocks, stuff like that. Down here in the bottom, uh, I've got what I'm calling my electric metalworking tools. Uh, my uh, shear, sawzall, I've got a uh, jigsaw back there I use a lot for metal, and I've got a, a quarter drill, usually don't use a quarter drill all that often, but sometimes if you're drilling like a really big hole or a really deep hole or something, you really need uh, the, the power of the corded. And then I've got my pop riveter and some files, just random stuff that I may use for metal working. Um, on this side I've got my grinders. Uh, flap wheel grinder, cutting disc grinder, and then my uh, wire wheel grinder. I'll probably buy another one here pretty soon. Um, put a abrasive grinding disc on it, just so I have don't have to switch anything out ever. <clears throat> this side, um, got my magnets. Lost this one, just found it, so that's kind of nice. It's super duper strong, but it's almost too strong sometimes. But it's still nice to have. And then I've got all my clamps. Um, you know, the quick squeeze clamps. Those are really more. Uh, for holding something real quick, you know, it's not for holding anything in place really good. The uh, the wood screw clamps, um, got all of my Irwin uh, squeeze clamps, and then all of my C clamps there. 
and then a few more uh, sheet metal clamps there also. So, um, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, this is a, I don't know, I guess four way move. None of, none of the casters are uh, single movement, they're all moving whatever direction, and it fits pretty well um, right there. So, got this area cleaned up too, talked about that a little bit. Got uh, both of my fender dollies or fender stands, whatever you want to call them, there, uh, floor jack and grinder, or I'm sorry, floor jack and welder plasma cutter set up there, so it's nice and easy to get out. So, and like I said, that uh, mobile welding cart fits right there pretty perfectly. So, um, in the future, I'll get rid of these cabinets, you know, get those hung up, and then uh, once I do that and get all my space set up, I can get all these are all parts for the Jeep. Um, once I get all my shelves set up, I can get all that put up in a good spot. That way it's not on the floor anymore. And then, uh, kind of clean up the garage quite a bit because, uh, over the years, since we bought this house, I've built four cars in this garage and just a ton of stuff accumulates in here and never really cleaned much of any of it out uh, in between building the cars. Just kind of keep going. So, uh, take a little bit of a uh, break here. Not really a break, I'm still working on the Jeep, but uh, taking a moment to kind of clean up a little bit. Um, kind of made some decisions on what I want to do and finally started buying, you know, shelf brackets and found some cabinets and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, that's about it. Just a quick garage update, if you will. Um, I'll do another one once I get all the cabinets and everything done. Uh, countertops in, I'll get my vice up here and uh, get all my lights in, stuff like that. And you guys can see it from there. So, um, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. It's kind of a short video, I'm sure. Uh, come back uh, next time for some more Jeep Rod updates. And uh, like I said, come back again if you want to see another garage update whenever I get that posted. I don't know when that's going to be. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.